Welcome back to Airborne Productions. We've been very excited to get into blacksmithing now that our anvil and our forge are all set up and assembled. But one minor annoyance that we've run into is the lack of a stand for our billets. When we have a long rod or a long rod attached to a billet, we have to tend to it the whole time. We can't just let it heat up since we can't set it down. So one quick fix for this is to take this bent rod and use a clamp to attach it to one of the legs on the forge. And it works, it's not really adjustable and it's not really sturdy either. So that we don't have to attend to it all the time, we made this little adjustable stand. It screws up and down super easily and also slides back and forth. We started with this steel rack that has a retractable arm. You pop the bolt out there she is. So in the bandsaw it went to get rid of that outside piece. And bam, it extends in and out, no problem. A little test fit to see where she's gonna go. That's perfect. It'll do exactly what we needed it to do. And we prepped it, getting rid of the paint to allow it to weld. We also prepped the bottom of our forge, for the same purpose. Few little welds later and it's there. Now to weld the nut. Easy peasy. You know, sometimes it's easier without gloves. It looks ridiculous and hot, but trust me. So here it is, test fit. Perfect, just the way we need it. Lastly, we welded up our own little wing nut. That way when we get it to the right spot, it doesn't spin around on us. We can tighten this wing nut against the other nut and it'll keep that all thread from spinning. Retracting in and out and adjusting up and down will allow us to set any piece of steel really exactly where it needs to be, as you see right here. This is so much nicer because now instead of standing in front of our forge, sweating all day, we can go work on other stuff while we're waiting on our steel to come to heat. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing.